Hi guys, Ali Duzette here and Pluto is about to enter Aquarius. I know it's taking place in March and I'm recording this in January, so it feels like it's kind of far away, but it's really, really not, I promise you. Because the thing about Pluto is that it takes a really long time to make transits. So today I've prepared for you seven things to consider about Pluto entering Aquarius. Now it's gonna take a minute to load my slideshow. Come on, buddy. Ah. So Pluto is entering Aquarius in March of 2023. And the last time that this happened, we saw the American and the French revolutions, the ratification of the US Constitution and the Bill of Rights, the Industrial Revolution, the Enlightenment, and the publication of the Vindication of the Rights of Women. What might we expect during this Pluto cycle? We are going to talk about it. Pluto is the planet of death and rebirth, and it is entering Aquarius on March 23rd of 2023. Aquarius is the sign of revolution. Uh, it was discovered in, I believe, 1787 during, you know, the American Revolution and immediately preceding the French Revolution. It... But Pluto prunes what is dead so that new growth can flourish. And in the context of Aquarius, uh, it's going to lead to some really interesting scenarios. Pluto is just going to be in Aquarius for three months in 2023, from March until July. And then it's going to retrograde back into Capricorn for the rest of the year. Then it will go back into Aquarius in January of 2024 and stay there for about 20 years. So these are a few things to keep an eye on. Seven things. Number one, are we looking at a possible housing crisis? I think it's pretty obvious that we are. Obviously, um, a lot of people are talking about the inevitability of a housing crisis, but this is just to say the stars are aligning <laughs> for a housing crisis. Uh, the last time Pluto crossed the cusp of Capricorn was in the fall of 2008, and hopefully we all remember that that was the time of a major housing crash. And the one reason why that was is because Capricorn is the sign paired with Cancer. Cancer rules the home and Capricorn rules the way that you pay for your home. And so to have Pluto, the sign of death and rebirth, entering, anytime it enters or exits a cusp like this, it's going to trigger some big death and rebirth in the flavor that it's transiting. And so to transit the guy that governs housing and money, you know, we saw when Pluto entered in the fall of 2008, then we have this big housing crash, and now it's about to exit Capricorn and enter Aquarius, and then it's going to enter Capricorn again in July. So it's going to be dancing across that cusp a few different times, and basically the stars are aligning for a massive housing crash. It may come in several different layers. We, don't, we aren't expecting that it's going to happen exactly on March 23rd, but because Pluto is going to be doing this little dance, I feel like any time basically between now and January of 2024, we're, I don't know, we're on the roller coaster when it comes to the housing crisis. I said 16 weeks because um, one of my friends, Janelle Lara, um, who runs the part-time CEO, had noticed that there is a 16-week window typically when Pluto is making these transits. And it can kind of go either way, but you can think of Pluto like this big old rock that you throw into the ocean, like a massive one. And how, when you throw something that big into the ocean, you might not see the waves that it causes immediately. It's going to take a few minutes, it might take a few days or weeks or even a month or two months, but eventually those waves are going to be showing up and make a big difference. Number two is the AI revolution. Artificial intelligence is taking off. You can hardly view any social media or news source without people talking about it. When you combine emerging AI with the Pluto dance between Capricorn, who governs the government and economy, and Aquarius, who governs technology and revolution, we are looking at some serious economic shifting in response to artificial intelligence. My personal prediction, I would not be surprised, not to say it absolutely will happen, but I'm just saying, I would not be surprised if we see massive layoffs as a result of human jobs getting replaced with AI. This may not happen on a specific day, but just generally speaking, as Pluto is doing this dance between Capricorn and Aquarius, uh, I think we're going to see some big shifts in how people are employed and why they are employed and why employers would choose humans over robots and artificial intelligence. Number three is aliens. 
the de the government has been declassifying a lot of info about aliens and UFOs and Aquarius governs aliens and it governs UFOs and other unexpected things I am really wondering if we're going to see more UFO stuff than we might expect in this coming year and then in the 20 year stint that Pluto will be in Aquarius Number four is revolutions. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius, we saw the French and American revolutions and some massive revolutions in the world around human rights from a lot of different perspectives. We can probably expect to see similar sentiments arising once again. Aquarius governs humanitarianism and the focus on human rights. And people tend to have strong opinions about this all over the political spectrum. I really think the French and American revolutions are really good examples of this, um, where like the human rights that American, that the American revolution was fought for um, was stuff like that, um, you know, no taxation without representation. And the French revolution was kind of similar, except, um, you know, a little bit bloodier. And also they didn't want certain people to have any representation. Uh, I mean, like the nobles and stuff like that, like kind of different flavors about what is a human right and who is a human who deserves to have human rights. And so all of these kinds of things are going to be coming up this year in particular. And then also, especially in the next 20 years after January of 2024, um, we may find that people and entire societies are willing to experience death and rebirth around these questions and these issues. Number five is digital currency transformations. There's big talk about nations possibly moving to digital currency. Talk about a marriage of Pluto and Capricorn and then Pluto in Aquarius where Capricorn deals with money and employment and I don't know, finances. And then Pluto is dealing with digital things and technology and revolutions. Pluto making this dance between Capricorn and Aquarius totally is all about digital currency. Um, what is that going to, what kind of impact is that going to have in the world? How is that going to affect us in the world? So we're going to see a lot of focus on things like Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies, and then entire nations actually embracing digital currency. And we will just have to see for ourselves what this kind of revolutionary death and rebirth in terms of finance and technology um, how will that play out? We will just have to see. Number six is transhumanism and questions of humanity. Aquarius is the sign governing humanitarianism, which has a natural preoccupation with what a human even is. That is going to be a big question that we're all going to have to deal with over the next you know, 20 years as Pluto makes this transit. Uh, Aquarius governs technology and technological advancement. We're going to have to deal with issues of humanity in a lot of different contexts. Is a person still a person if they are part artificial intelligence? You know, if they have part of their brain is robotic and artificially intelligent. Is a person still a person if it's a fetus? You know, drawing on that abortion issue and human rights. You know, who, who gets to have human rights in the abortion question? Well, what is a human? Is That's a question that... Aquarius is going to have us ask, and Pluto in Aquarius is really going to have us ask, is a person a person if they feel differently from you politically? You know, um, I think a lot of people feel really strongly they, about their politics, and they can start dehumanizing the people that disagree with them. And I think that's going to be something that we see a lot of. And on a personal level, we will have to individually commit in our own hearts not to dehumanize the people around us, even when the people around us are dehumanizing us. Um, I think we're going to see a big, big focus on these questions. And number seven is communication, death, and rebirth. Pluto is the planet of death and rebirth, and Aquarius governs the internet and how we communicate with the masses. If there were a Plutonian intervention with the internet, what that would really look like is like a breakdown with the internet um, a death and rebirth of who has access to the internet, what they can use the internet for. Um, if that happens, we would obviously see a massive breakdown in many societies. And Aquarius also governs like society as a whole, you know, like well, humanitarianism, what is humanity doing in general? So very interesting that it governs technology and the masses. And now we have these really unique situations where technology is how we communicate with the masses how will a Plutonian death and rebirth affect how we communicate, 
with each other, how we're forced to communicate with each other, or maybe we won't be able to communicate with each other, and how will that shape what society looks like. So we are going to see for ourselves how this all plays out. It, the fun begins on March 23rd, but really any time between now and basically this time next year, we are going to be in that flavor. You know, Pluto is, it has such a big, a big, like deep influence. I really think of it as like a base note, like that very low tone at the bottom of the chord that everything is kind of built on. And maybe sometimes it's so low, you can't even hear it properly, but it's there and it is the foundation I think we're going to see some really interesting things. So as we are preparing for this transit, I invite you to come and hang out with me on Facebook at Intuitive Healing with Ali Duzette. Go sign up for the free offerings at AliDuzetteClasses.com and start educating yourself so that you can be prepared for the things that are coming. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm so glad you found me. I just hope that you have the best day ever. And thank you for being here. <laughs>